Good morning, Tigers. Please stand for the prayer, the pledge, and the Holy Cross, men. Each of us is that steward of which the gospel speaks, to whom the master confided a certain number of talents to be made profitable, and for which we must give an account. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your sacred heart, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass of the world. For the salvation of souls, and the preparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians. And in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father, this month, amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Father Moreau, pray for us. St. Andre, pray for us. Now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and divisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Holy Cross Man. The Holy Cross Man is a fine gentleman who lives by faith. His other to his soul's welfare, he reflects often on God. His daily actions are sanctified by prayer, the practice of virtue, and endless piety. Since sanctity is his goal, he has a deep devotion to our Lord, to our Lady, and to St. Joseph, patron of the school. The Holy Cross man is studious. He regards learning as a duty, and intellectual perfection as an honor. He knows that a school is trying to and has molded himself into useful men. The Holy Cross man is loyal to God and country. The devotion to the school and his teachers is demonstrated by his cooperation, zeal, and spirit. He is a friend of all and has given him the body of Christ. In a word, he is a man of faith and honesty. Of strength and character to seven mastery, of respect for the Christian family and lawful authority, of leadership and to the true, the good, and the beautiful. That is the Holy Cross man. All right, Tigers, now we have today's announcements. We don't have a lot of announcements today, but we do want to remind everyone that, is, that it is extremely important to do your part now that we are back at school. As you saw last week, the number of cases and people having to be quarantined here at Holy Cross was extremely high, and therefore, now more than ever, be socially distanced, wear your mask the right way, and completely, and remember to continually wash your hands. Doing all these things shows respect for others around you. Think of the student who has a sick mom or sick dad or sick grandmother. Think of the person who has to go home and maybe take care of an elderly person. You might not realize it, but doing your part helps others. And also, no matter what your age, you can get COVID. And now for the weather and lunch. Alright, so for the weather today, uh, you felt it outside, it's pretty chilly, uh, so it's pretty, uh, some, some, some breeze going on over there, some, maybe, true breeze, but yeah, not this season, sorry, but, um, uh, we got, <laughs> we got, uh, uh, like, uh, 56, uh, looking at tomorrow, we got some clouds still, pretty, uh, chilly with a low of, of 39 and a high of 56 again, um, and then Wednesday, uh, right around the same with a low of 40 and a high of 62. And now we have the lunch, and today we will have stuffed turkey, roasted potatoes, some green beans, and gravy with a dinneral. And now in honor of Black History Month, we would like to commemorate a person each morning of the announcements. So, Cameron, take it away. All right. Uh, so today is St. Augustine. Augustine the Sinner is all, all too well known. Known as a convert and author of confessions, Little is known of his as father of the church and as a saint. His thousands of letters, sermons, and tracts, combined with 232 books, instructed the early church and had relevance for the church today. It is said that Christian scholars through the ages owe much to St. Augustine and that the full impact of his psychology and his embryonic uh, theology will be felt in years to come. Augustine was truly a saint. He lived an austere life, performing great acts of mortification and penance. He wrote, I pray to God, weeping almost daily. Two of his most famous books are Confessions, which is an autobiography, and City of God. His Memorial Day is celebrated on August 28th. All right, thank you for that, Cameron. And now, last but not least, we have a little video to commemorate. Black History Month to start it off, and I hope you enjoy that. Thank you, Tiger City in the halls. Hello! Black History Month is um, a commemoration, vocab word, for black activists, another vocab word, who took 
took their time out to go fight, um, fight for what, what they feel is right. Like Martin Luther King had a speech that violence is not the answer and no segregation. We celebrate black people that helped us change history. It reminds us to be strong even in politics. Oy. What matters is what, what's inside of you and how you act to other people. It doesn't matter if you're black, if you're white, you should always celebrate it because you know the, the, the struggles black leaders went through in order for you to be here right now. Even though we may have the different skin color, we're still the same type of people, no matter what. And a lot of people, they don't see me for who I am. They see my outside appearance, but they don't see what I have on the inside. It's very hard to grow up knowing that you're black and you have a lot of personal prejudices against you. I see it on the TV and I'm like, is that gonna happen to my brother? Is that, is that gonna happen to my dad? And I always have that in the back of my mind every time that I'm home and they're not home. Black history is important to me because I have to remember where I came from and I have to remember who came before me. Because you have to look at the things that Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, and um, Malcolm X did for us black people so people can't treat us unfairly because they think some type of relief because we're, we are all people and you need to stand up for our rights. There's still discrimination. There's still discrimination in all parts of the world, in all parts of the United States. We should still fight for what we believe and we should still fight for getting what's right. Hello.